Yo, what up YouTube? It's McGaming here. Today, instead of a gaming video, I'm doing a tutorial on how to make the James Bond gun barrel. For whom who not who probably don't know what it is, at the end you will see what it will be. And this will be all done on Photoshop CS6. So first of all, what you want to do is go to File, New, and with the name, just call it whatever you want. I don't really care. Um, present, you want it to be custom. <coughs> Sorry about that. Custom. The width, you want it to be 31.496 inches. And the height, you want it to be 19.05 inches. The resolution, you want it to be 240 pixels slash inch. And color mode and all that. <coughs> just leave it. So, I just sneeze in. That'll be all default. Okay, you'll start off with your black canvas. You want to go to View, New Guide, Horizontal, and change it to 15%. And you'll get this nice acrylic line going through the middle. New Guide. Vertical and go to 50% again. Get both lines going straight into the middle. Oh, I'm sorry. What you want to do is go down to here, create new layer, change, go to your tool here, and go to elliptical. Once elliptical, um, you want to go here, hold shift and alt together, drag it out until you've got some space. Here we get the marching ants. Once you've got the marching ads, go to fill, go to edit, fill, and then go to make it black. Blending won't be needing to use them. Once you've got all that selected, you want to go up to select and deselect. You want to make another layer, do the process again, the elliptical process, and this time you want to make it a little bit smaller within the big one. You would get the marching ants, go to fill, 50% grey, um, and just for the deselect, just to tell you, if you hold down control and D together, it will deselect as well. So get rid of the marching ants. You have big circle and small circle. Once you have that selected, you want to go to layer 1, go back to the, um, the tools, make it rectangular. And what you want to do is, um, you want to get the rectangular thing and go down to the middle line, and you want to just hold. You want the marching ants on the top half of the screen. Once that's like that, you want to just press the delete button, and you get a semi-circle, and the um, and the grey in the middle, like a Pokemon kind of type thing. You want to deselect. This time, you want to go to movement, the move button. You want to drag it like that. You want to go to edit, free transform, and enlarge it off the um, canvas. Canvas. Once that is like that, you want to go to apply. Yeah. Um. Bleh. Sorry. Um. My headsets keep falling off. Um. And once that's like that, you just want to duplicate it, as you can see. Um, with the layer 1 copy, you want to do, um, you want to press Control T, right, the pivot point, and you want to drag it right in the middle of the um, circle. And the thing. Once that's like that, you want to go to 42, rotation up there, make it 42. Press OK, and uh, we'll wait for transforming. Do, 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 do. This pit is a little bit tricky. I kind of stuffed up twice when I first did it. What you want to do is hold Control down, and you want to select the large thumbnail. Whatever you might have, small thumbnail. I've got large. Um, yes, you want to 
click back on layer one and you want to delete it and you want to um, hold down control um, control and D you'll get this nice kind of silverish line supposedly and once that's like that you want to delete this layer one copy you want to trash it and then you have this nice curvish line what you want to do is that uh, oops keep coming up with this warning thing hate that you want to duplicate that layer you want to um, this time you want to hold down control and T together again you want to drag the little pivot again you want to put it in the middle this time with the rotation and this is all on layer 1 copy you want to change it to 45 45 and then you just want to um where is it sorry um shit and then you want to tick it now I'm going to show you guys oh, when it's transformed in the meanwhile I'm gonna, once it's transformed I'm going to show you a trick that I've just learnt recently I haven't I didn't even know much of it. Um, it's called the step and repeat. It, since Photoshop kind of remembers all your moves that you do and that on it, uh, this is the keyboard shortcut I learned. So all you want to do is hold down Shift, Alt, Control, and T. And some people might not do this process bar, but for a lot of people it will. We'll just wait for this to um happen, and voila! It's easy. Instead of going around and dragging and all that, you can just do the Shift or Control T shortcut. I mean, honestly, who agrees with me that that is easier and shorter and not using up your time? It's a time consumer. You want to do it again? Shift Control or blah blah, whatever do it again and you want to do it after this one again 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 so if it's a little bit slow with my my own one shift alt control t and, and if you do and I oh, should probably say it at the end shift alt control t and you have all the rip kind of rip by pulls shapes there and shift up blah blah this is the last one transform again and this is just a simple one you keep it as a background your own very made instead of going on the internet and going oh let's just go and get someone else's instead of my own now I'm just gonna you just want to click on layer 2 if, if you can see the white lines kind of not looking right just get hold do the control hold down control dumb control T you want to maybe make it bigger uh, so then it doesn't look like whoops and watch it. Um, control D, deselect. Don't know if that might look a little bit too reddish, too big. No, it probably will look too big. Anyway, control D. Oh, sorry, not my fault. Apply. Applying, applying. And voila. Um, you want to get rid of the. Um, you want to get rid of the guides. Got a view, clear guides. And there, guys. A simple James Bond bell background. Um, sim similar. Oops. Um, similar like this one. And thank you for watching. And I hope you had a great time. See ya. Um.